know what uh, round you versus soul will be? Oh. So, Silver Allo beat Wolf. What? Winner semis. Silver Allo beat Wolf. Yeah. Are we going to see the Mewtwo from Silver Allo? I really hope we don't see the Falco because this Falco was garbage. No offense to Silver Allo, but I put him in Brawl and he used Ice Climbers and he thought he was as good as me. And he was. But <laughs> and he was. I'll be back in like a minute. Make sure nobody takes the stream. I, I have to do this one first. Alright, our next match here uh, will not be a simple money match, but instead a winner semis match between Spaz and Silver Alloy, two of the top players uh, here at Smashing Ground. Spaz is uh, Lucas Squirtle Sonic and Silver Alloy. He's going Squirt. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Who's, uh, who's Silver Alloy's top three characters? Mewtwo, Mewtwo, and Mewtwo. Alright, then why'd he go Falco? Because he's done. No, honestly, I have no idea. I don't. I severely disagree with this decision. Spaz is so good in this matchup too. What? Ah. Right. Hey everyone, Mizuki on the mic. So. Sorry, I just Ice Arrow had to go away to go play tournament, so yep. I'll be commentating this. He's playing his match with Soul, correct? Uh, yes, he's playing against Soul. Okay. So here we've got Falcon versus Squirtle. Yep. I mean, basically Squirtle's game is the fact that lasers kind of become very... I mean, you have to get extremely low lasers anyways, yep. and then also when he goes into that armored roll, it's, uh, the lasers won't hit because it's just too low until he jumps out of it like that. Also, the tilts are going to be big because, I mean, he can kind of down tilt through stuff and then into down smash like there. Yep. So that's kind of his objective. Obviously, Falco's game doesn't really change that much based on who he's playing, so he's just going to try to... He really needs to cut out those lasers, though. They're definitely... Uh, yeah, do it, do harm them good when, when Squirtle can get so low. Yeah, so Spaz is definitely, um, you know, this is a good counter pick, I think, here. I'm not sure, actually, if Silver or Alloy is counterpicking with this, because I don't think he normally mains Falco. No, I, I was just Ooh, told... Ooh, nice tech chases. I was told uh, he's a uh, Mewtwo. Mewtwo main. Well, he's also, like, uh, Olimar, and, like, he plays a ton a of characters. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Gotcha. But I'm just surprised he would choose to go with this, considering I would think the matchup wouldn't be great. But I guess maybe he'll show us something. Yeah. I mean, he's currently ahead in the percent. Spaz is just trying to down tilt a little too much and just eating a lot of damage and not producing a lot out of it. He hasn't gotten real combos on it. Oh. Doesn't doesn't have those spaces combos. I believe uh, the stage is, is benefiting Spaz being so wide and no platforms for, for Falco to hide from. Yeah, and with draw. he doesn't get a that advantage off of shine into drill into shine into drill into yeah. like that whole setup that leads to a spike, so. Yeah, but that being said, it's extremely close, if not Silver Alloy having an edge. Yep. Obviously, I mean, the down smash tech chases into the back airs are going to be huge. And yep. I mean, even though the percents are uneven, um, Falco's obviously lacking in recovery, so um, I think that even when it's down, it's actually still in Spaz's advantage because Falco just simply dies earlier. Yep. Although Squirtle's damage output, or knockback, really isn't high enough to kill a lot of people. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing the, um, 
withdraw into forward air, which you just did there, is not uh, it does not have nearly as much killing power as it would against another character. Yeah, it, I mean it has to do with obviously Falco's weird weights and yep. fast falling properties. So. so once again, establishing the uh, laser game, forcing Spaz back into the armored rolls. Down tilts. Bouncing off his head. He's uh, he's beginning to pick his spots better there. with lasers Oop. and hit a bigger oh. percent of them. No tech chase, though, from uh, Silver Alloy. Mm -hmm. He's just been largely working on putting out the damage and uh, just taking what he can get, you know? not going for anything too fancy. Obviously, Squirtle would be kind of tough to combo on, so. Ooh, lost his jump somewhere in there. Yeah. That's imp that's surprising. I didn't see that one, and I don't think Silver Alloy did, or else he would have been up being sooner. So that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, this is Tech Chase. He had, a, he had a pretty big advantage going into that, I think. Uh, as long as this game finishes the way it looks like it will, that that uh, missed jump might cost him the game. Yep. Establishing lasers, but Spaz having none yeah. of it. Yeah, he approaching shields. And Spaz is, uh, after that SD from Silver Alley, Spaz started playing a lot more cautiously. He just wants to get in there, get a poke. Yep. Uh, get it, he's get not going for those down tilts as much because he doesn't want to trade too much. Right. He yeah, he's at way too high percent to be too in any yeah. trades. Oh, nice sweet spot. Excellent. Ooh, even nice back air, though. Spaz has been perfect with that sweet spot this entire game. Yep. It's right at the bottom, immediately grabbing. Spaz able to rack up about 76 before uh, he had to lose his second stock. So and that's it. very big advantage. There it is. All right. And first game goes over to Spaz. Good to him. All right, so what do you think? Silver Alloy is, I think, going to go for a character change, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And he's also... So we'll see what stage he picks, and I think that'll kind of dictate um, probably what character he's going to go with. Mm -hmm. So the stage bans, obviously, against a character specialist, not as effectual unless you're trying to force them into not picking a certain character. Okay, going back to FD. Oh, we are going to be doing down throw tech chases <laughs> a lot. for days. Yes. And back to the and I, and I think, yeah, I mean, this this benefits him a lot in this case. So I, I see this going quite badly for Squirtle. But then I see Lucas doing okay in this match. So ah, that's true. I, I think that getting the first game advantage is going to play out a long way in this set. Yep, as it but, usually does. Yep. Because you force the counter pick, and then they can't counter pick you. So... We'll see how it goes, but right now uh, Silver Alloy obviously uh, establishing a or commanding lead, so pretty much going as expected. Established right at the beginning a bunch of down throws into combos. But it seems oh. that Spaz's Squirtle has more combos here. He definitely was doing a little bit more, less tech chasing, more comboing, mm. although misses the sweet spot and ends up dying for it, so. Yep. Unfortunate technical error by Spaz. Twisty Cap, one of Spaz's uh, predominant practice partners, recently picked up Meta Knight, and I think Spaz is really appreciating that, uh, that knowledge right now. Yeah. But still kind of struggling right now. Yep. As Hasn't really gotten Meta Knight anywhere near kill percent, especially on it. Final D, it's like Meta Knight's always going to come back unless you kill him off the side. So, as you noted uh, before the match started, Meta Knight has a has a pretty good advantage here here enough to against Squirtle anyway. Yep. Yeah, this stage is extremely advantageous. So, Spaz <laughs> using that moment uh, to do a ton and get his sunglasses out. Yep. Which Silver Alloy quickly demolishes. Needs more sunglasses. <laughs> All right, down tilts. Oop, just gets grabbed out of it. Yep. As I said, the grab game is going to be big Ooh. here. He misses the shuttle and ends up dying for it. Yeah, v very well-timed aerial by, by Spaz to get that kill. Absolutely necessary, too. Ooh, Ooh, as I say. Just 
read that uh, ledge get up. Yep. That was a huge read and leads to a stock. So a full stock lead for Silver Alloy going into three to two. Yep. Down he throws, did. tech chases. Oh no, he actually misses the down tilt. So he uh, he did have a similar lead uh, game one, and uh, but eh, it was only an SD that that changed yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. So, we'll so I think if he can establish this and maintain it. Which and, obviously uh, it's a little harder to SD as Mennonite. I was so. just about to say, much, <laughs> e <laughs> much easier to recover. Pretty much from anywhere on screen. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Thankfully, they'll be fixing that a little bit. So, Ooh, Nice tech chase. Back airs. Nice little dive kick. Dive kick. Ooh, went for the cape. Nice shuttle. Almost over the top. One more shuttle loop combo will end up ending that. Ooh, misses wow. the cape, so. Now it's actually not seeming impossible no. for Spaz, but definitely still a pretty large comeback to have to make. No hard read that time. Spaz didn't go for the option and get some free damage off that hard read. Yep. Oh, Ooh, nice combo. Spaz going and suddenly it's pretty much even, yep. yep. So good on Spaz being able to rack up damage off of that uh Ooh, ballsy. That missed read by Silver Alloy. Up throws, goes for another shuttle combo that wasn't quite there. No, and could have been an SD. Yeah, could have been an SD and also ended up leading to a stock anyways. So yep. uh, either way. All right. Kind of this, oh, ooh. there we go. Okay, we're even. Yep. It all comes down to the last stock. It looked like last match where Spaz was going to be able to use that second stock to rack up a little bit of damage, but Silver Eye like quickly took it away and made it even. Oh. oh. That was almost dangerous. Yeah, and then it looks like nice Meta Knight almost throw. had some issue too. Yep. I think he was confused by the sort of unorthodox recovery. Right. So. Very smart tech in place by Spaz there. Yep. And it was really far DI away, yep. right into a tech, tech in place, which allowed him to get back into the game and not let Meta Knight establish that uh, just, down throw game. He just went right into Meta oh, Knight's no. mug to get that, which ended up being the kill. And we end up with an SD, so... That is... Spaz wins 2 to nothing. Spaz...